Warriors sleep with their hearts and not with their eyes closed. Greetings, my king. Greetings. We must be on our way immediately to the palace. You lead the way. Yes, my precious. Her outclass affirms that. Which obviously means she's powerful. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my worthy comrades. You have made me proud with this gift. At last, all reason will bow to our superiority. You shall be used as a sacrificial lamp to appease the boiling heart of a noble princess. Hmm. The gods shall accept your blood as a sweet smelling sever and restore the dignity and pride of Agumba kingdom over the commoners, especially your sinking clan, Oruzo. You speak grandly of yourself and kid of princess of Agumba. But you forgot to note that nobility begets fairness. Where cruelty dies and eats with annihilation and failure. You're set to share the blood of an innocent girl without proving her guilty of any crime. That's the height of injustice. How dare you mock me, you little brat? What more reason do I need to have you sacrifice? God! Put the message across to the crown crier. Tell him to announce to anyone who cares to listen that at sunrise our kingdom shall demonstrate its supremacy to the commoners. Go now before the chicken goes to roost. Let me see how your bogus tongue will prevent your head from leaving your shoulders. I'm not afraid of that princess of Agumba. For I know your current state of anger is a bloody warrior that breathes on my expansion. It can only lead to the very part of my destiny. Take her away before I slice her into pieces ahead of time. <laughs> How easy was Smith with the horse ride? God! Take me away, else you will need a proper apology for not acting fast. <laughs> to let her ruin your evening like this. Eh, come down, my princess. Hmm? She doesn't want it at all. Hmm? My princess. My princess. Princess of Akumba land. In a job. You get where you go. Guess what? I've sent for Urima. She's on her way down here. At least, a few songs from her might help. <laughs> That's exactly what I need right now. Because my blood is so hot from the inside. <sighs> Come. Come here. Come. You seem to know me more than I know myself. You're a genius. That's my duty as your maid. Of course, yes. But... You're not just my maid of honor. You're my cousin and my blood. All the same, my princess. As your maid of honor and cousin, your welfare is my priority. Thank you. That means I'm in a safe hands. Mm -hmm. Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, Urima Wanyi Marama. You're welcome. Thank you, my princess. Someone has decided to lace my night in a dark sack. I wish you to sing me joyfully to sleep. 
tonight and few more nights to come. It is my pleasure, my princess. May the gods of our land be with you. Who could be making the princess of our land sad? Adesi. Adesi mo. Ezi bo wa nyoma. Adesi mo. Anya umutu tukibo. Adesi mo. I have nothing to say to you. I just need to be left alone now. I am sorry, ma'am. I am sorry for what happened. I, I was just trying to protect you. Protect me from what exactly? Listen, Adani. I meant every word that I said to you earlier, and I intend keeping it. Until I find that girl, please stay away from me. I'm sorry now, eh? How else will I show you that I'm sorry? Okay. At sunrise tomorrow, I will follow you in search of the girl. Are you serious? You will follow me? I will do anything to make you happy. You know you are all I've got. I can't afford to see you in this mood, eh? You <laughs> Thank you so much, Adami. No, I know it's I am committed to that. I just have this feeling. Very sure. No, you're not related to her. Not at all. You don't have anything to do with her. It's just the will to do good. That is the force driving you. That's all. What are you again, Edge? All the same, you're right, Adani, but I still feel obligated to do this. So, no matter what it takes, I must find that girl. It's okay. Come on. I don't mind. Okay, Kibe. Okay. Ah. Oh, yeah, come and see. Do you know what? To do all that, you need strength. Okay. So you need to eat and rest till tomorrow. Mm. of her in your dreams.
has nothing happened to you. Because I've searched for you everywhere. No one can harm me. Not even the gods. I've been in the forest. Speaking with the winds. And shaking hands with the trees. That reminds me. How many leaves did I instruct you to draw? Four and nine. That wasn't my instruction. The three year leave I use for emergency. And the four year leave of the thorn and the chicken to prevent calamities. Igwigi, open your spirit. In the world of the spirit, we don't hear with our ears. We hear with our spirits because we live in the world of the spirits. I'll bear that in mind now. How could you let this happen before your watchful eyes? I'm sorry, my princess. That girl was not just an ordinary prisoner. Her death was meant to wipe our shame. And it still fears in the heart of her enemy. And you let her slip through your fingers? That's me, the guard responsible for her last night. This is life. was responsible for his flight. Which is the very reason why he must pay with his own life. I would have honored him in death as a hero and rewarded his family handsomely. If he had died fighting, but rather he chose to die a shameful death by giving him to defeat. I shall cut off his head right now. Mm. <laughs> You're back. What happened? And where is she? I'm sorry. I couldn't bring her. But there is something about her I don't understand. What is it? Tell me. I think she's not just an ordinary girl. She has powers. So much powers that surmounted the one you gave me. She stared at me, and in a second, I felt this great shock which convulsed me to the ground. I was unconscious for too long. I barely came back alive. The powers of a mother. The powers of a mother is the only power that surpasses all powers. Mm. Is she the one that I've been waiting for?
else can stand for her in a dua. And I am also privy to the clause in the decree that gives her the right to instant death if her display isn't worthy enough to the princess's delight and also calls for the death of the both of you should you fail in your duel. And the right to total freedom if victoriously she emerged. So be it then. Ugoma, you have to go to the stage and perform for the princess. I know you will do it. Go. I'm sure, Princess, she beat your imagination. Thank you very much. <laughs> Who taught you how to dance like this? Mm. I taught her how to dance. For this, I'll have the both of you in my chambers. I shall give you whatever you need tonight to be entertained. Thank you very much.
this is the day that we have longed for. And like I told you, we are not using any weapon on this mission. Our victory will solemnly depend on our wisdom. But I want you to always remember the blood of my brother, your father, whose spirit is crying for vengeance. Do you hear you see my father? Yes. I am not your father, but only. It took me this long to tell you the truth because I wanted the pains of losing a father and the anguish for vengeance to be so fresh in your mind. so secret from me all these years. I grew up believing you're my father. that your father's debt, your father's painful debt, was just in vain. You dared death at the face, led all through the valleys and hills of Obiago down to this place just to see your face for the very last time and to reveal who his killers are. So, he had faith in us that we are going to revenge his death. And if we fail, the gods will be angry with us. This is blood for blood. Yes. You shall feel every ounce of pain my father felt. Now, let's go, father. Look at what life in the palace is doing to you, maiden of Agumba. Mm. What is the secret? Our princess, of course. Your princess? Our princess. She's not my princess. And she can never be my princess. By the way, how is life in the palace? It's very fine. Our princess is really doing wonderful in our palace. Except that girl. What's that her name? Nenna. She's making life unbearable in palace. Nenna. Yes. Well, that is by the way. Our princess is getting married soon. Getting married? Yes. To who? Udago. You mean the princess of Agumba is falling for Udago? I didn't say so, but I think she's falling for Udago. Wait a minute. But Nina told me that the princess despised the sight of Udago. Hey. How come about what you're telling me now? Like I said, I don't know. Nelquam. Goma said you asked me to meet you here. And I've been waiting all day long. Goma told you that. Goma said you asked that you see me right away. And that's why I came. That I asked to see you. Yes. Me. Goma. <laughs> Goma. What could she be up to? Damn. I'm so sorry. The way I abandoned you the previous night. 
I'm so sorry. Just that the princess sent for me. Please forgive me. You kept us waiting all through the night. And you didn't show up. What could you be doing with the princess? Um, um, you didn't even have anything to say. I think I have to be going anyway. I have to go and take care of my mother. Rima, please wait. Forget about the princess. Whatever it is she wanted of me, doesn't matter. It is you I want to Rima. Rima, I have kept this in my heart for far too long. And I can't continue like that. Rima, please. Okay. The gods. You know what, eh? Let's go to somewhere where you and I will stay alone and come. Let's go. <laughs> Mama, the time to reveal the secret is finally here. I have to make my way to the Igwe's palace. Just as the gods instructed. Mama, promise me that you remain here till I come back with the good news. And maybe my son. Mama. This is too dangerous for you to embark on. Huh? All by yourself. Hey. A believer the priest is an evil genius. He can smell your presence at the palace, even from the distance of his shrine. Hi, and you know what that means, if he should. Mama, I will not underestimate the power of an enemy. For many years now, we have beaten him in his own game. He must have learned his lessons. Maybe improve in his lapses. I have to be extremely careful. Please, Mama, let me do this. Please. Oh. I'm not that my son. I'll may be the... ready for the worst at all times. Chai, may the ghost be with you. Thank you. Hmm? I wish. Your father was alive to witness all this. Mama, Mama <laughs> you, do, you don't have to cry now. You don't have to cry now. If my father was here, what I'm doing now, I believe that that's what he would have done himself. Please, this is the will of the gods. Please, Mama, just be strong for me. Please. Hey. Please, Mama, oh. please. Hey. I have to be on the way now. Any man can drown in the river. 
just to have you. Then, if what you said is the truth, why are you not drowned? Nika, how to run along? It appears we have a guest. What guest are you talking about? I don't know yet, but when I get close, let's forget you. Remember the end. Greetings to this household. I bring to you millions of blessings from the gods. Greetings, wise one. And to what do I owe such generosity? Hmm. Whom the gods chose, they bless. My footsteps were directed to this household by the very spirits that I serve. And I know it's certainly for a greater good. Hmm. I smell betrayal. Hmm. Hmm. I see that. A sudden one. And I'm here to bring you to the notice. Two, two, yes, two of your well-trusted friends are after your life. They are planning. They are plotting to wipe out your lineage. And the gods suggest that you strike them first before they strike you. Mm, 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 mm. Wise one, what can I offer you? For the words you speak to me are so strong. I... I'm a messenger of the gods. I seek no succor or comfort. Mm. Wise one, your words are very succinct. But my father has got two numerous friends that it will take him decades to fetch the two you talk of. For the sake of the gods you serve, why not be more precise with their identity? Mm, I need not to mention their names. For your father knows who they are. And one of them has this fire burning in his heart to take away your life. Mm. And from the fusion I have of him, he is like a fellow servant of the gods, like me. Mm. 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 Your life is in danger. <laughs> what in the name of this parents are you talking of? Two of your most trusted friends are scheming to eliminate you. You have until I blink my eyes to tell me why you are here and who sent you as the fishes in the Zalangan River feast on the flesh tonight. May the gods forbid me from lying to you. Time is no longer on your side. I suggest you strike first. Before they strike you. Forgive me for coming to you unannounced. I have this hunch that something is going on. That is why I ran out the way here to tell you. So, what is it? Tell me. A while ago, a strange man visited our water. He told him about the plot to be killed by his two most trusted friends. When I realized 
you fit into the description you gave about one of them. I ran all the way down here to inform you. But I'm getting here. Something similar struck my ear. I overheard this, this young man giving you the same word of advice. The man gave a water. And the gods suggest that you strike them first before they strike you. Both of them are working together to achieve what only their dead can put a final set to. Kill them and dump this body. And make sure you use all possible means. Very, very tragic. You are Ijen yourself. Yes, ma'am. Good. I was told you went through a lot trying to see me. Young man. What informs this sudden, unscheduled invitation to the king of uh, Agomba? Uh, my king, first I want to ask for forgiveness on behalf of my father. For he has sinned against you and the entire land. Even my family were part of a conspiracy that led this land into its present state of turmoil. Gods of our land. Young man, do you know the gravity of the offense you're claiming your family committed? Huh? The penalty for this kind of offense? Is that sentence to every member of your family? I'm aware of that, Igwe. I made my choice before coming down here. Igwe, many years ago, my family were forcefully involved in a crime, a conspiracy by three men. One of them is a well respectable man in this land. Yes, yes. Who is that man? I want to know his name. Speak out. His name is... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Speak. I want to know his name. What is... This is not <laughs> God, seize this man. Seize this man until ever ever gets here to console the gods on his face. This is nonsense. I will not take it. Bringing me out from the palace for this nonsense? Seize him! I summoned you for something very important. And I want you to attend to it. 
without hesitation, we have to accelerate our plan to avert a possible threat to our cause. Linda, even if you need a helping hand, I will pledge you my help. Papa, why run around this issue for far too long? Eh? Please, just go ahead and spill the corn. Nena, you have to find a way to unseat Princess Harida. And take her place. So that the third arm of the royal power can rest on our shoulders. Then you don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> I already took a step. Before sunset, the sound of the crickets must be heard. Mary Jo, my sister. Thanks to the God. Ah, cheers to the gods! <laughs> now that we have the treasure with us, the pride, fertility of both humans, plants and animals, are restored. <laughs> Our powers, fertility of both humans, plants and animals, are renewed. Our healing powers have been restored. So obviously this cause for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> we made it finally. I can now command a lot of respect. Even from the Igwe, my brother. Especially now that he needs an heir to his truth. <laughs> And attack a Come on, I can now enrich whoever I want to enrich in this community. <laughs> and my farmland will become the largest in our entire kingdom. <laughs> I don't care how any one of you uses his wisdom. If all I care is that all you go. And Obiago is going to remain in that custody as long as we want. <laughs> <laughs> and Ogwe with family will take care of them. Ugumba thought he was smart. You all saw what happened to him. I killed him off. Yeah, that was a big hit. Let's go and celebrate. Greetings to this house. You are welcome, Thank you. No, you It was just the few market days that you gave me the last medicine. I think I am strong now and don't need further medication. <laughs> Mortal mind. When a sickness wants to kill it fit, to fix your fall, make them handsome and help yours. Mm, uh, um, are you not saying it's too dangerous to stop the medication now? No, 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 no. no. It is very reckless to think of such a thing this time. Today's medication will determine his fate. I am trusting on the gods for this. Um, you see, do whatever thing you can. Because I, I can't wait to see my father healthy again. Please. Okay. 
and make sure you don't take anything oily to a sunrise. Ah. Yes. I shall be on my way now. My son, please, you heard what Igrigi said about the red oil, lest I forget, please, my son. Bebe, Bebe, the mouthpiece and eye of the gods, you are welcome. For two moons now, the gods have deprived us of your presence. It's a good thing you are here now. We have a sinner in our midst. And we want you to consult the gods so that we may know his fate. Mm. Pass him there and get some help. Yes, right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Israel, father's name is Ogewu, not Ijemi. The entire family were traitors and fugitives who committed crimes and the gods declared them wanted in the land. Now, the gods will be at peace. With his blood. Uh, uh, but Ebelebe, Ebelebe, and um, mouthpiece of the gods, what is this crime that the family committed? This is a matter that concerns the gods and the moon sky. I don't wish to incur the wrath of the gods by unveiling such complete issues. No wonder. God struck him dumb as he was trying to lie against the gods. But even at that, Ebelebe, our ordeal still lingers. Not anymore, my king. The gods have decided to fish out the enemies one after the other. And I'm going to crush them. Igwe! Igwe! Ikonyo, what is the problem? One of the girls has been gruesomely murdered. By who? We are how? This was found in this town. Whoever that owns this is responsible for his death. This is a royal deed. He can Quickly, quickly. Summon the princess and the royal maidens immediately. That wouldn't be necessary, Mike. Why? With the evidence we have here, if Princess Harida is guilty of shedding the blood of a royal guard unjustly, then she should dance the rhythm of the action. I know, Ebelebe. My daughter, Chikam Garida, the princess, cannot commit murder and can be held liable for this offense. My king. You don't know your daughter too well. The evidence we have at hand undoubtedly points to the princess. In two nights, she shall be brought to the great Udenwa. And there, she shall be killed as the gods directed. This cannot happen! No!
with you. Akedi, I should have listened to you. Eh? My father says we are not clean after all. Do you mean that the Gokos killed your father? Akedi, my father revealed some secrets before he died. We wanted to tell the Ube the following morning, or he died in the night. Right now, I don't know what to do. Is it to go and tell the Ube or to leave the secret with me? Because I'm confused. We're telling the Ube this secret now. Can it change? Will you bring back your father? Akele, you know my father is dead. He's gone and cannot come back again. That's why you should forget about uh, telling it to, 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 to you again. But I'm your friend. You can swear to tell me the, the secret. Anyway, Akele, just forget it. Do you have anything inside? I mean, no, really. Okay, you're not a new person in this sort. Go down, find whatever you want to eat. I would have said, you should stop singing. This is your. I must tell you, since you came into this kingdom, I've been admiring you so dearly. Looking at the throne, you could see the king has no son to succeed him when he's gone. And I, the good name, the great chief god of this great kingdom, shall become the king.
<laughs> oh, yes. Time shall come in this kingdom when all you millions This morning, Nana. My greeting. Keep your greetings to yourself. Oh, I can see that you're still sad over the death of your friend. Which of my friends? <laughs> Irobi. Of course. Let me advise you. The earlier you keep away from evil, the better for you. As you go the way your friend went. Call you now. Ena, okay. I will deal with you. Oh, it took you so long. I'm very sorry, my royal maiden. I came as fast as I could. <sighs> okay, I know you must have heard what happened at the palace earlier. Yes, I had. But I'm still finding it very difficult to understand. Hmm. No matter what happens, our princess shall not die. But please, Erima, only you can save her life. I don't understand. How am I supposed to save her? This is a setup. Someone wants the princess dead. But I don't know who. Wait. Are you saying that the princess is innocent? Yes, she is. But she's still hiding something. There you confuse me, Mama. If truly the princess is innocent, what more could she possibly be hiding? I don't know. That's exactly what runs me crazy. But Rima, princess believes so much in you. Save her life so that we can be alive. Please. Last night again, no? Oh. Mm. Don't try it, oh! This is your attitude of running after every maiden in this kingdom will land you into trouble one day. Mm. Of course, you don't know the history of this land. Else, you would have known that the last chosen ones failed in their mission to retrieve the treasure of the land because of one thing, just one thing, this thing in between their legs, and the gods struck them dead. Alongside the Ugumba, the chief guard, who accompanied them. If you don't take your time, history might repeat itself on you. He goes. Nico, come on. certain pains and shame that apologies cannot wipe away in a hurry. All I needed was for you to justify the killing of a royal palace guard before the council. But you chose to do otherwise. If this death sentence is carried out on you, my entire lineage will be wiped out completely. No, no, my 
my father, so to never become of your lineage. I'm sorry, I promise. But what do you intend to do to prevent it from happening? I promise, I'm sorry. Cause of all that, <laughs> I'm doomed. But my princess, did the king, your father, promise to do something about the situation? Not at all, Nena. He's rather very angry with me. And I don't know what else to do. Then, the only option left is for you to leave this village tonight. We must find a way to sneak you out, my princess. That's not possible. It's very dangerous. And that means implicating all of you. Our duty is to protect you at all times. Okay? And we are ready to give our lives doing that. Did you actually kill anyone? Of course not, Meiji. I'm not a murderer. It's of no use running, my princess. If you do. You're right, Mechi. But what about my bead that was found with the dead body? How do I explain that? Oh. When was the last time you, you wore that bead? Before he was murdered. Actually, I, I gave the bead as a gift to someone. But I'm sure he's not capable of murder. My princess, how could you do such a reckless thing? Giving out your royal bead? To who exactly? Nina. Sensation down through my nerves. My princess, you know you're so adorable. You're the dream of every man, dead or alive. But there are one million and one men that deserves you, and not a common hunter like me, my princess. Let me be the judge, Udavu. You're that river that can quench my, my thirst. Oh. My princess, I am too shallow a river to accommodate and quench the text of, of, of a princess of your caliber. Uh, enough, Udabi. Please. I don't want to remind you that no one says that to me. You can't turn me down. Huh? Take this leaf. Rub it all over my body till it forms. that present the plants of my womanhood. Take this bead as long as it is with you. My heart will continue to beat. Make sure you wear it, please.
innocent. But you don't rule out any possibility of proving your innocence by meltingness of the heart. Look here, the both of you. Mm. I don't want to see you anywhere close to the princess for the rest of today. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am talking and you are laughing. Do I blame you? I'm watching. I'm saying. Don't tell me you're worried about what she just said. Yes, I'm so worried about what she said. Please, let's do whatever she wants us to do. Please, me, I don't want any trouble. I don't need trouble, please. Please. <clears throat> she's a maiden like us. She don't have any right to tell us what to do in this palace. But remember, she's the chief maid here. Please, me, I don't want trouble. Please. As for me, Mbechi, I'm not going to dance on her too. Did you hear me? You can do whatever you like, please. <laughs> What's the problem? What's the problem you had? Share it with me now. I am your mother. Mama, whatever is troubling me now is far beyond mother. Ah. Uh, if that is the situation, there's no need worrying yourself because you're not a spirit, or are you? Whatever it takes to be a spirit, I will do that for the princess. Oh. Oh. So it's because of the princess? After all that she did to you? Urima. Mama, mama. You and I know that Princess Harida is innocent. And I'm not going to let her die for a crime she knew nothing about. Yes, we all know she might be innocent, but how can that be proven? Hey, Urima. My daughter, don't involve yourself in that, oh, because it might be bigger than you think. Did you hear me? Please, no matter how big it is, the princess shall not die. I must do something about it before it's too late. Urima. Urima. Mama. Urima. Mama. I'm going to call us to get it. Us to get it. We're going to get it. Please, the gods of the land. Hey! Oh, life in the palace, it's not easy. Nenna this, nenna that, nenna go there, nenna come there. Ah, please, let me have some rest before these people will kill me. to come and massage my foot and up till now she's not here she has the guts to keep me waiting didn't you tell her i asked her to come and massage my foot i am talking to you i'm sorry my yes i did you did and where could she be she went to fetch up my no i'm sorry she's at the backyard she 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 will you go get her for me Another maid, silly girl. Sorry, my princess. <laughs> she is sorry. She's sorry. What could be keeping you? Sorry, my princess. You're sorry. Yeah. Will you get down on your knees? You're sorry. Silly girl. Get to work. So 
this has been a dream all this while. Who will be up from this dream? I was enjoying my princess life. Look at my maids. Eh? Giving me a foot massage. Look at me. Nana! Nana! You again! What is it? Uh, princess demands your presence. Ah, please go. I'm coming. Have you been I know, eh? I would have hated her so well. By now, okay, then I'll find them. Have our hearts in our hands. We have been marvelous since your message came. Tell us suddenly, what is the emergency all about? Or have they found that it was you? Step up to confess his involvement. You know what that is. But we won't let it happen. Lead, okay. you head out, of course. You must have, find a way to remove him mm, completely. That's where the problem lies. Udago once saved my life. And I owe him one now. There should be no sentiment in this. Mary <laughs> The princess gave me the life I have today. Yet I took the oath to lead her to her grave. You had better do what's required of you before it's too late. Mary Jen, Mary Jen, we have gone way too far in this. Hey, backing up now would be disastrous to all of us. It must be tonight. Let me get back to the From you, eh? Akidi, you segregate yourself from me. Mm. Akidi, I don't understand you again. Okay, I sit here. How it happened that? I did this. Tell me, no, 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 no. I have anything. So you don't tell me about the family. Have you forgotten that I, Prince Meridian, will become Crown Prince of this world? Ha 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 
through a whole lot in the house of God. I thank the gods you made it through alive. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder how a man who has that number of wives should still have play for additional wife. You just have to believe it. Hmm? It is the man's word they said. Okay. You can imagine my grandfather married ten wives mm -hmm. and wanted to add the eleventh one before he fell ill and joined his ancestors. Huh. Eh? Ten wives. Ten no. Everyone. Urima. You are welcome, Urima. Thank you very much. How were you able to make it all by yourself to our heart? <sighs> Am I supposed to be afraid? Mm -hmm. When I'm coming to see Udab, oh. the great hunter, oh. whose head never sees in the forest. <laughs> mm. Mm. I feel so great. Um, I don't know. Mm. This is Urima. Mm. The very maiden that gladdens my heart. Oh, yeah. The reason I smile often these days. Uh, I see. What a beauty to behold. Thank you, Adonai. You're welcome, Urima. You're welcome. And um, please come and join them and eat. Yes, of course. Come and join us. Thank you, Adani. I just ate before coming out. Not if you say so. <laughs> Let me leave you people. You can come and sit here. Join them. I'll be inside. A huge tragedy is about to strike this kingdom and I don't know what to do to avert it. May the gods forbid. What tragedy are you referring to? Someone, someone very important in this kingdom is about to be killed unjustly and I need to do hmm. something to stop it. Hmm. You don't need to do anything. And she's not going to die. The gods are in for a great surprise for everyone. Ugoma. The princess shall not die. Hmm. Come watch me. Ugoma. Hmm? Hey. <laughs> How could you possibly know all this? I have been with you all day. <laughs> you won't cease to amaze me. <laughs> there are a whole lot you don't know about me. Mm -hmm. I know. There I know everything about the both of you. Yes. The both of us. Because the both of you lives in me. Mm -hmm. With the gods. <laughs> <laughs> there she go again. There she go again! Tell me how the both of us, the gods too, could live inside this your little body. 
You know, I know she's not feeling too well. I know what to do. I'll get you some herbs. Okay, Ugomba. Let me ask you. You said the princess will not die. Now let me ask you. How can the princess escape this trap without any help? Tell me, she will survive because she has all the help she needed. At sunrise, you all were here and see as the gods. I did it for you. I did it for you. Hey! Cause of our land. <laughs> I want to tell you something. But I would do that before your father. Let me. Before my father or our father. Walk on, ma. Walk on, ma. Walk on, ma. Yes, your father. Oh, <laughs> me. God, so far. I can't believe this. All my life I thought you were my only sister and that we shared the same parents. Ah, God, so for one night. 
Okay, tell me, what what about my mother? Is she is she still alive? Tell me. I will tell you all you need to know. Huh? But first, I need to go and save the life of the princess before it's too late. I want you and Ugoma to come with me. You can go now. We will meet you up there later. As you can see, Kunaya is not in the good mood. Only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Have to calm down. Like Adane said, everything that happened happened to take us through our trolls of destiny. You're walking into your greatness. Now, let's go. Goma. You know. You are truly sent by the gods. And I am so thankful.
The time to put a stop to this segregation is now. If shedding my own blood is what is needed, then so be it. If you won't let me marry him, I will take my own life. That will not be necessary, my daughter. I think you're right when you say that the time to put the stop to this is now. It is actually time we unite. Unity brings peace. And peace brings prosperity. My daughter, go ahead and marry the man of your dreams. You thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm so, so happy. Thank you, good. <laughs> <laughs>